Hey, I'm back with some new content. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are making a skirt. Now let's begin. Before you start drafting, you need to decide the length and how full you want your skirt to be. It could be triple, double your waist measurement or a quarter, do whatever you like. I drafted three rectangles, the top and the bottom piece of the skirt. Where it says drap is the tie. The two rectangles has the total skirt length. You can also add more sections to the skirt if you want. You can make the bottom piece bigger than the top piece or you can do both the same width. I also made a pattern reference. Uh, you can find that on my blog. Link will be in the description. If you follow me on Instagram then you already know. But when I was filming this I only had 3 hours of sleep. So common sense was nowhere to be found. Also, if you recognize this fabric, I use the same fabric for this dress. The first thing that I did was cleaning up the raw edges with a searcher, but this should actually be the second step. If you're gonna make a tunnel for the elastic, then you can search the waist as well. If not, then you can just search the bottom edge, close up the sides with a pretty size together. And this should actually be the first step. And then you can follow it up with a searcher and then you're done with the first piece for overlocking the second piece i use this casting foot to match the color of the skirt do this on the top edge and use the zigzag stitch for this I also made a video on this so you can see how amazing this casting foot thing is. Now I'm sewing the sides together with pretty size touching, but again you should be doing this first, then you can overlock the top edge. Press the seams on both sides. In the bottom edge. Now sew the base and stitch for gathering, change the stick length to the biggest one on your sewing machine. Leave enough thread when you start and end sewing, do not backstitch. Once you're done sewing all the way around, pull the thread until it matches the top section. Sew the bottom piece on top of the other piece with the pretty sides facing you. You can also make a guideline to sew much neater than I did or you can also use pins. If you're still watching give this video a like otherwise i'm gonna take your food away so you better like it and also leave some video suggestions and this is how it should look at the end Measure the elastic around the smallest part of your waist until it fits snugly and cut off the length that you need. Obviously you should not measure yourself when you have a sweater on. Then sew the elastic ends together with a zigzag stitch. I prefer to do it like this but you can also overlap it if you want. Divide the elastic in four sections and also the skirt waist with a washable marker. You can also use pins. Then you can sew the elastic onto the waist with the casting foot with a zigzag stitch. Stretch out the elastic by matching the markings together of the elastic and the skirt waist. Then 
once done fold the elastic like so use a straight stitch with the normal foot and sew all the way around be sure to stretch out the elastic when you do this then sew another stitch line I was supposed to add a third line but I messed up with the width of my stitches so there are two now now moving on with the tie press the rectangle in half like so then you can sew along the open side with a straight stitch and I also closed off one side to make it easier to turn the two right side out Now you can turn the tube right side out with a tube turner. I love this thing. This is the best thing that's better than a loop turner. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Press the tie flat like so. Optional is to finish the ends like so. And you can also top stitch along the edge if you want to. I was basically already over this skirt so I didn't do it. Then find the midpoint and sew the tie onto the skirt with a straight stitch. Just back and forth a little bit. The last thing that I had to do was to undo the basic stitches, but you can also do this at an earlier stage. If you want to see the pattern reference, the link is in the description. If you're gonna recreate this skirt, feel free to share your pictures. You can tag me on Instagram, whatever you want to do. Follow me on my socials, share the video. Do I need to say more? No, I don't. I will see you in the next video. Bye.